All right, man. All right, buddy roll. You ready? Yes, sir. All right. What's up, guys? This is our uh, our first podcast. Yeah. And uh, I'm John. I'm Blake. Roll the intro. So, for our first podcast, we'll kind of uh, we'll kind of explain a little bit what's about to go down. Yeah. So, uh, what we're going to do is run through a little bit of a serious topic, um, something that's kind of dear to us at the moment, or something we've gone through, something like that. Uh, and then we've got a couple hidden items, um, something to just spark a little light conversation, so we don't leave the video too uh, too deep, and maybe. Uh, Give you guys something a little fun to look forward to right at the end. A little funnier right yeah. at the end of the episode. Something, something spicy. Yes, sir. So. So, first podcast, what we're going to talk about is... How we met. How John and I first met. Yeah. Well, a little background. Mm-hmm. I would say we've known each other... What now? Close to a year. Yeah. Known At least known of each other for close to yeah. a year. Oh, we've known of each other for more than a year, I'd say. Very quickly. Yeah. Hit it off and yeah. became like pretty. I would pretty I tight would friends, call you like my best friends. Best friends, friends yeah. pretty pretty darn quick. Like sure. I think it took a solid maybe month. Yeah. Of us like talking to each other. It's a, yeah, and that was yeah at the time was maybe like two hours. Oh at yeah. Work. Not much. Yeah. Like when we passed each other at work. For sure. And we got stuck in a station near each other. We, yeah, we yeah, just chatted up. So it. yeah. Kind of took off from there. So yeah. we're doing this because we're uh, a little, little different, unique, um, in the in the stance that I'm different than Blake, and Blake is different from me, and so we wanted to have some opposing views yeah, on a few topics. So, I don't, I, as much as we're different, we're also the same. Yeah. So we were both. Our, I would say our childhoods were very similar. Yeah. But in also, a sense. in a, in the same sense, extremely different. Yeah. I think the result of our childhood was different. I think our childhoods were remarkably similar. Yes. But, like, how we went about life post-childhood, I think, was different. Very different. Yeah. Very different. So, I thought but, that was interesting. Yeah, even the way we carry our sa- ourselves now, mm-hmm. day to day. Yeah. It's like, we, honestly, we see eye to eye on less things than we don't see eye to eye on. But we are <laughs> able to yeah. see each other's point of view yeah without it causing without, issue yeah without drama yeah or, or anything so. that, that, that's one of the things that i think makes our friendship mm-hmm. super unique yeah is that we're able to we're able to disagree but still you're still yeah. my best friend yeah and that's we just the world needs more of that right yeah now. It ain't, absolutely i agree sure. so um so yeah that's how we met yeah. do you remember the first time we ever interacted i don't know it was sometime before my birthday last year. So for y'all, that's September. Right. Um, but barely. Barely, yeah, but not by much. Only because you sent me a Facebook message that yeah. said, oh, man, if you would have told me it was your birthday yesterday, I would have came and saw you. I would have announced it yeah, over, over the, the intercom. Over the intercom at work. Yeah. So we met at work. We yeah. both work at a factory in the, in the town. We Well, you don't live in town. But we both work in a factory. I'm close to town. Yeah. Yeah. In 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 our in my hometown, uh-huh. it's one of the bigger employers in the area. Yeah. And that's how we got to know each other. We were both on second shift mm-hmm. and working the night shift. Oh baby, the good old days. Man, it was, uh, those were the funner days yeah. for sure. Oh second yeah. Shift is better, but second yeah. shift was a lot, a lot more fun. Yeah, a lot more laid back, a lot more smooth. Yeah. Uh, and part of that's probably because of the lack of expectation. Like, I'll be 100% honest. Second shift, just, they didn't. They didn't care. Yeah. They didn't care. Up. We didn't care. Yep. So we we got away with a lot more than we oh, could have or should have. So, yeah. yeah. But I don't I don't remember the first time we ever uh-uh. interacted with each other. No. Not like the first, first time. I couldn't tell you. I know it was before A.A. Ron came over to your slightly before A.A. Ron came to your line. I remember one time you coming over to my line while I was over on four. Dude. And I you were so lost for a little bit. I wasn't only lost. I 
high. Oh, you and were? I, was so high. <laughs> I didn't know that. Eric made me smoke on lunch break that night, and then I got back in, and they were like, "Yo, we're shutting your line down. You're going over to that line." Oh, oh my! <laughs> this is the worst time for you to learn something, right here. I was. I was. Yeah. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. That was the I didn't. First. Uh, wow, you handled it well because I didn't know. Thank you. This is the first time I've ever noticed this. It was the first time I had smoked weed in almost probably close to 15 years. Eh, maybe closer to 10. Yeah. yeah. I didn't smoke since high school. That makes a lot more sense now. Because when you came over, you were super like ready to go. Like, what? you were trying hard to make sure you didn't look high. Yeah, I could tell. I Every like, time no. I gave you something, you're like, all right, so what do I do now? Yeah. And I'm like, you can just hang out, bro. It's, it's yeah, a relaxed yeah. line. We ain't got right. a whole lot to do. But no, but what do I do? <laughs> like, you, you were just trying to find was, something. So I, like, well, I don't yeah, know. I was, I was bad. Yeah. Like, I wasn't, like, crazy high, but it was, like, it's the first time I smoked in yeah. like a long freaking Just kind of like a dramatic thing and for then, you. Yeah, to have to go learn a whole lot yeah. that I've never been put on before. And then That's rough. act like I wasn't high in front of all these people I yeah. didn't really know. I remember you kept calling me... Uh, Balake, I think. No, you kept calling me uh, Big Chief. Oh, yeah. And I was it's like, one of my many I phrases. Like, is <laughs> I remember I was thinking the whole time, after like three Big Chiefs, I was like, is he, is he calling me Chief? Because he knows I'm high. <laughs> What is going on? Oh, then, that's awesome. Yeah, so, <laughs> Completely coincidental, but... <laughs> yeah, dude. So I was like, fuck, oh, man, everyone knows. Yeah. And, no, I just and, suck at, like, knowing names. So yeah. I call everybody, like, Chief, Cowboy, Big Guy, yeah. Son. Like, I, I barely call anyone by I name. I would rather call somebody a nickname than oh, an yeah. actual name. And it's kind of endearing, I think. Yeah. Personally, I, that's my opinion, right. but... But, and then Ron... I remember oh, Ron, Ron was getting mad at me because I was going so fast. I didn't know that in the moment. Yeah. But I found out a little way later. down the road because somebody was like, where'd all those parts go? And then he was like, motherfucker, ran through them all already. And I was like, okay. I thought I was going slow. Yeah. I was like, all right, I'm doing better. No, you I'm were trying so hard. Like, yeah. you were going super fast because you were trying so yes. hard. Uh, but I remember him making a comment to another guy on the line as he was yeah. walking away. And I swear he was like, he said something about me, like in context was like, yeah, that dude up at the front of the line must have went out and smoked, blah, blah, blah. Like I, he said yeah. something about cigarettes and I was like, no, nah. oh, do I stink? Like, do I smell like <laughs> he it? knows. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that, I, that might have been one of the very first times yeah. we ever talked. Yeah. But I mean, like after that, it was because we get we, at, on overtime. Yeah. We, we always got stuck on the yeah, same line or close to. Line yeah. Well, so one of the lines that were back to back. Yeah. So it was always like, and then that's when it when we both realized that each other like to fuck with other people. Oh yeah, just couldn't and, couldn't stay away from messing with somebody. Right. Like something had to hold our yeah. attention or make the day a little bit easier to get yeah. through. And I think that's what yeah. really set it off. And toss some screws at people. We don't do that if anybody to Eaton's watching, but. Uh, uh. Yeah, we don't do that. No. We never do that. But awesome. yeah, just getting getting the job like done, but uh, having fun while we do it was always a thing. I think. Yeah. I, just, always, I think one of the things was like I just noticed that you were always dancing and singing, Bro. which was like, like time, it was strange to me because you got to realize I came from a line where everybody was a dud. We no offense all... to the people on the line, but they were like older Much and just. Older angry that they were there they were super unhappy that they like i don't know if it was that they had to work or if they had to work at the the place or what it was but they were super super unhappy and anal about everything i think that might be another thing that was like that set us off as like we click really yeah. fast is because everybody out there uh -huh. hates being out oh there. yeah they can't stand it but like I hate being. Out oh yeah. I can't stand the work that we do or the people we work. Oh yeah. For. It's boring. Company. It's terrible. It sucks. Yeah. But I cannot live my life mad. Oh yeah. Angry down. Oh, I have to it, stay up. Yeah. It takes so much out of me. Like yeah. I get angry for even thirty minutes. I get out of it. I'm like, dude, I'm ready to fall asleep. I'm right, done. Right, right. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Like it I can't takes, keep that up. It takes so much out. Yeah. Of so. And, 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 but everybody out there. Yeah. It, it, Oh, everyone. You could have good times with every single person out there. Mm -hmm. But 
but nine times out of ten, you approach somebody out there, they're in a shit mood. Oh, yeah. Just mm-hmm. mad. Yeah. Unhappy. But I think that was another thing that yeah. drew us to each other. It was like, oh, okay. The only two people in the whole this factory that ain't mad. Yeah, he's upbeat. Yeah. He's doing something. So, yeah. I don't know. I think yeah. part of it was, like, also, I enjoy people that I think work hard. Yeah. Like, I enjoy not having to pick up after people. Right. Which... I don't know, maybe a little hypocrisy on my my part. I don't know how well I work, to be honest. I don't like to, uh, I don't know how good I am at that. But, like, for me to see someone else that, like, works really hard and, like, pushes themselves and is not kind of waiting yeah. for things to just go all right and that, that kind of thing, that was big for me. That was like, oh, all right, this guy's actually got, like, a little, yeah. little ambition in life and he's not right. just mad that he's stuck in one spot. That. Yeah, that that's that's me. a big thing to me. Like that's a big like character thing. Yeah, to be honest, that's the only reason that like the one guy on our line who works super fast but sucks at every other part of like being a person in a factory. That's the only reason I can stand him. Yeah, it's because he works so dang hard, and I'm like, all right, I gotta respect that. Yeah, man. if nothing else. It. Sometimes he yeah. goes for it so hard, it's like yeah, just chill. just give it a minute. Like Calm take a rest and like. Yeah. You're wearing yourself out and making yourself mad, but yeah. yeah I appreciate that. That's, that's definitely yeah. Yeah, that's, that's one, one of the I things. About you too. Yeah, that's a big thing for me. Like, yeah, just seeing that character in you that like, that he's not just here to make the paycheck. Like, he's at least gonna give us some effort while he's doing it. That's right. Mm-hmm. I, I don't. I would. I would love to say that was the military that did that for me, but that was. Yeah. And I don't know who would have instilled, instilled that instilled that in me because I mean, like, my mom worked hard. My yeah. parents, after my parents got divorced, my mom worked yeah. a lot. A got lot to. of overtime, yeah. a lot of all that, to the point where me and my sister basically raised ourselves. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I, really, I really wasn't raised. Yeah. My dad was always a hard worker, but I, my dad wasn't, I didn't really see that in him until mm-hmm. later in life. Yeah. Until I was graduated and mm-hmm. in college and he went back to school. That's really when it, when it, like, dialed in on me that he was like he's he yeah. goes for it yeah i'm sure i get it from my dad mm-hmm. genetically yeah but and also it may be part of that like growing up like by yourself that you just naturally had to like yeah. if i don't click into this i'm not gonna make it yeah, kind of thing I, like that survival instinct of like yeah if i, I gotta do it, it or not right at if all I, if i wanted something i had to get it yeah. myself so yeah i remember even being at like my first I was at Steak and Shake. Mm-hmm. I was the Shake Bitch. Yeah. Literally, that's <laughs> what everyone called me. Yeah. The shake Bitch. If you were on Shakes, you were like, you were lower than the dishwasher. Really? Yeah. You I didn't know that. Shake Bitch. Huh. But my fucking side by sides, I would spin the glass uh-huh. and dump them in and have a swirl. I fucking killed it. Yeah. I was good at even that. <laughs> Dang. I was like, yo, I gotta stop. Yeah. I gotta get out of here. They moved me up to the line, which was. I started as a bun boy for somebody. What's a bun boy? You fucking... You make buns? buns. That's your entire job. That was all I did. You like sitting over there, you're like... I would take the buns apart, put them on the grill. Oh, you put them on the grill? Okay. on the grill. That's different than where I worked. put the bun board on them. So if I pressed Pressed them them down. That's all I did for probably two weeks. Dang. That's all they would let me do. That's a rough job. But... (laughs) That's got to be boring. It's... I mean... I was thankful enough to work with a good crew, mm-hmm. and the dude who was cooking the burgers was, was a really cool dude. Yeah. But I got to the point there where I just got bored. I got really good at tricks. Oh. <laughs> if I were, the bun boards are probably... So essentially what we do now, <laughs> we get bored and we just yeah. play around. Yeah, they were like two and a half, three feet long uh, boards. Yeah. You sit like six buns underneath. Absolutely. I would flick of the board, it would come my way, and I'd hit check it right into the slot. Dang. Pop, 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 Getting pop. good. I think yeah. you may have missed your calling. Well, <laughs> when I eventually was able to cook the burgers, yeah, I was. I got to be the best person on, on the burgers. On the, on the burgers on that line. They had at the time Steak and Shake was doing this like travel thing. Yeah. Where they actually did like a burger cook off. Oh, okay. Who could make the quickest burgers? Who could make? I mean, who could make the most burgers the fastest? Mm-hmm. Like all the way cooked oh yeah <clears throat> they wanted me to go to it like, oh, the dang. guy who trained me went the year uh-huh. before they wanted me to go the next year yeah uh, I don't are you know. trying to tell me you were famous before no. right now no <laughs> nobody fucking cares about who can cook burgers <laughs> but <clears throat> steak and shake people do 
You don't know. I mean, it was whatever. <laughs> Maybe they compete with other companies. Yeah. I don't know. It got. It, I was it, like, I, like we had a fork because the steak and shake patties are raw meat in pucks. Mm-hmm. You stabbed them with your spatula and you pressed it out. Yeah. The fork. I would fucking put the spatula in in between the forks and I would do flips and tricks with it and stuff. Yeah. And you, you would like clean the. Yeah. <laughs> clean you the scrape grill the grill with the spatula. Uh huh. I would clean it, smack it off, or flip it, clean it. I was like, I could do all kinds of tricks. Dang. We were slammed one night. And I was like, I got to go prep stuff. Somebody's got to take care yeah. of this. One of the best things about working out there is my whole high school clique uh-huh. worked with me. Oh, yeah. All my friends. Yeah. Makes it that much easier. Yeah. At least to deal with it. Yeah. Like. We got through this rush, and I, it slowed down a little bit, enough to where I thought other people could handle it. Yeah. I was like, I gotta go prep. We were almost out of meat. Yeah. I was like, I gotta go prep some stuff. I gotta go get some things. Hold it down. Yeah. I was probably back there 10 minutes. And I walked back. My buddy came back and he was like, yo, you gotta come up here and help. Yeah. And I was like, okay. I get up there and Steak and Shake has this screen. It's all the, the orders all and the order. inside yeah. orders and all the outside orders. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you know. Dairy Queen. Oh, yeah. Dairy Queen. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rule number 12, baby. Play like a champion every day. That's right. Yeah. We will live by. Yeah. Um, I go up there and th- there was maybe six orders total. When I uh-huh. This fucking screen is full, Ooh. and it's like triple, double, triple. There is no single patties yeah. on there, and I'm like, so I'm about to, I'm about yo, to throw it down. I was like, Where are you at? And he was yeah, like, I haven't even started. Whoa, and then no, a, a, yeah, and a guy is up front, and he's mad mm-hmm. because his order got fucked up. Oh, so. I walk up there, and I look at the screen, and I'm like, oh, shit, what happened up here? Yeah. And now this guy starts... Yelling at you. Not yelling, talking loudly to me. Yeah. And I I remember this like it was yesterday. I said, well, what did you have? And he was like, I already told that fucker who I, what I had. And I was like, yo, you told him. You didn't tell me. Yeah. And he just kept yelling at me. And so I, I was like, I put my hands up, and I walked away. Yeah. I went back to the back, and I was like, what did that guy have? And he was like, I don't know. And I was like, okay. I walk back up to the grill. I line the grill with patties. Mm-hmm. And I'm just slapping burgers. Yeah. Out. I was pushing this screen out. And he was like, you going to make my food? And I was like, you going to tell me what you had? Yeah. He was like, and then he told me his order. It was the next burger to come off the line. Yeah. I was like, you could have been out here 10 yeah. minutes ago. Dude. If you would have just been cool about yeah. it. Like, if you would have talked to me like a price. human being. You didn't tell me what you yeah. had. I'm not going to help you. Yeah. But you would have told me right away you would have been the first burger to come off that yeah. line. But yeah. It's crazy. I probably got between 20 and 25 orders out mm-hmm. in roughly 10, 15 minutes. Oh, boy. That's, fucking, that's, that's my boy right there. No, I'm, that's, I'm not proud of that. Yeah. I was fucking making burgers. Hey, yeah. Shit, I mean, but, but you were doing it to your best. Like, I, yeah, I, I always I yeah. give my everything I have yeah. and everything I do. Yeah, so. which is awesome. Yeah. No, I get it. Like, everybody got to have a, have a minute break or two. Like, I understand that. So, and honestly, where we work, there's no point in, like, working yourself to death. Yeah. If at some point you're going to have to stop anyway, and that happens a lot. Yeah. So, yep. and that's kind of the struggle I have out there. I've gotten to the point out there mm-hmm. where people are so lazy. Mm-hmm. I will I will do my job, mm-hmm. and I will help you do your job if you can't do it. Yeah. You, do, you don't help me in return ever. Mm-hmm. I'm not helping you no yeah. more. I see that. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. I'll give my back to you, but if you won't give me a freaking finger, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm not, not going to put it out yeah. there for you. Yeah, I think it's going to abuse it. Yeah, I think I've just recently tried to, like, turn that leaf a little bit. Yeah. So, like... It's still really hard. Yeah, it is. Like, it's it's rough to me, yeah. but, like, I, I'm trying to, like, actively put my mindset in, like, if I, like, even though they're not doing it, and I realize they won't. Like, my, my natural inclination is always to help those who are at least willing to work fast enough or at least try. Like, yeah. if you're willing right. to be there and try, I'm willing to, like, more than happy to help you. Yeah. Like, I, I know something. sometimes things just happen. But, m- like, I'm trying at least my mindset, and I may not act this out well, I don't know. But, like, my mindset, I'm trying to shift it towards, like, even though you're not doing well, I still need to help you. If it's not for you, at least my conscience is clear. Yeah. Like, at least I gave it the effort to be like, hey, 
you know, I realize you didn't do it. And, like, if you don't use the help that I give you, that's on you. That's I your know, fault. For sure. But, like, if, if you'll use the help that I give you and that's what will catch you up, fine. Yeah. But there are some people who just won't do that. They like, there are some people, yeah, just refuse right. to give it any effort whatsoever. They purposely don't do their job mm-hmm. because they know me yeah. or you will fill in for that yeah. or the other person that goes on yeah. for it. They so, know someone's one of mm-hmm. the three of us is going to fill in for them, yeah. so they just don't do their job. Yeah. And, like, and those people is really hard to help out. Like, I'll yeah. be real honest. It's like, gonna, I'm not there's gonna, a lot of time I can't yeah. do it. Like, I look at that person, I'm like, yeah, but, dude, you're not even, like, you don't want to try. Exactly. Like, you're not even exactly. wanting to give it an effort, and I can't and, do and that. And then, it's, yeah, if I, if I go crazy to try to get my job done and mm-hmm. do your job because you're yeah. not falling back, and then... In five minutes, now I'm behind, yeah. and you're not doing anything, and you continue yeah. to not do anything. You don't repay that. Yeah, it gets real difficult. Yeah. Like I can feel I'm that. Not. Yeah. The next time you need help, don't come looking for me. Yeah, I get that. But I don't do that. Like that's just at work. Mm-hmm. I've got myself caught up in so many situations, like real life situations. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I feel I that. I constantly give the shirt off my back to somebody who. Fucks me over, over and over yeah. and over again. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to stop. That. Yeah. But. Well, that's a good thing. Like that's that's I think a, one of the <laughs> other things that like brought us together as friends is like yeah. you are very selfless and in, in many aspects of your life. Like that's one of those things that I'm like ah, awesome. Like I like you're one of those people that like I want to be friends with mm-hmm. because part of me wants that to like rub off on me. Yeah. Like I want to improve myself always. Yeah, exactly. And that's one thing that I know I can always improve in. Yeah. Like, it's that's a big reason. Like, I think we sought each other out. Is yeah. Because you're the type of person I want to surround myself mm-hmm. with. Because no matter what it is, you're always going to try to push me to be better. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna, you're just gonna. Yeah. You add something to my life. Mm-hmm. You're not just there. Yeah. Yeah. And so. That's, that's a big thing. Yeah, I think that's. Okay. Yeah. So. Going back to when we met mm-hmm. at work. Yeah. I don't, I forgot what I was going to say. I, well, I remember what I was going to say, but do you remember, I don't know if it was, it, might, it was probably after I came down to your line and, and worked that one day, mm-hmm. but we, you, the way our, our job is set up, the line we both work on now, mm-hmm. um, you have to go to the restroom, you mm-hmm. have to walk past that yeah. line. Every time you go to the restroom, I don't know, I don't know, it was just kind of like instinctual, but I would always like look up. It was, hmm. oh, I did not. Yeah, well, when you're working on the line, mm-hmm. you look up, you always see, oh, the, yeah, the, naturally, the stairs. Yeah, but and when you're on like yeah. doors or the front of the line, you don't right. see that. But I was always, I would always catch you at the end of the line. Uh huh. So where it was like before you even got to the stairs, because mm-hmm. you see somebody walk up the stairs. Oh, yeah. It's instinctual just to look up. Yeah, you For see some movement. Reason, yeah. I always saw you at the end of the line before you got to the steps. And we would always, I would like, You're look up. me? And we Creeping? Would wave. No, it just would happen. And it might not happen every time, but it felt like it <laughs> yeah. was every time. But we huh. just waved to each other. Yeah. And that was before we were really like, Oh, yeah. Talking, talking. And then. I think that's just like the, the part of our like general niceties towards each other. Oh, like, yeah. And like recognizing that, that's a cool that's guy. A like I, I could, cool yeah. I could stand to hang around that guy pretty often. Yeah. Like it'd be okay. For sure. But that's something that was really sticks out to me when, yeah. I, when I remember mm-hmm. like how we started like the come mm-hmm. up of our friendship. Yeah. That's one thing that's always stuck out to me. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Just every time we would pass each other, it would, you were at we were 20, 30 feet away. Oh yeah. It was like, oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Do you, it got to the point where on overtime mm-hmm. when we would get put on the same line. Oh, yeah. We would have to work next to each other. Oh, yeah. We would convince people to switch us spots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We Absolutely. Bribery so we could yeah. be next to each other. And then. Well, because it was easier to talk that way. Like, yeah. it sounds weird when you say it, like, so we could be next to each other kind of thing. But no, oh, yeah. it wasn't because, like, we had to be near each other kind of thing. No, yeah. it was because, no. like, next we, to it's each a. Other yeah. Is, Six, seven feet apart. Yeah, it's in a factory, so everything's spot. super loud. So, like, if you're more than one slot spot or away. spot away, yeah. you can't hear that person right. without, like, leaving your spot. And then you you might get in trouble or something kind of thing. Yeah. So, yeah. But we'd always convince people oh, yeah. to change the spots. Uh-huh. And it was a good, you're still a good five, six yeah. feet away. Mm-hmm. But 
it got to that point. Yeah. And it was just like, I need someone to talk to. Yeah. Get me through. At that point, it was overtime was midnight to 2 a.m. Yeah. It was the end of the shift. Yeah. So yeah. you'd already been through eight hours and you were like, yeah. man, I got to I gotta tuck two more hours on the end of this and someone. not fall asleep. Yeah. You needed someone there to keep you yeah. going, keep pushing you. Yeah. And it was just fun. And then, oh, that kind of got the, our friendship mm -hmm. got the, like, attraction from other people. Oh, yeah. And Who wanted to, like, hang out with us yeah, because yeah, yeah. we were cool sure. and, like, having fun. Yeah. Like, I think it, it just became attractive to people. It, it kind of got carried away. Yeah. <laughs> but we got to become really good friends, us two got to become really good friends at this point. And then there was two, two girls who were straight up just friends, mm -hmm. but they were really good friends. Yeah. And then they just started fucking with us yeah. all the time. Uh -huh. They would be the ones like throwing screws and mm -hmm. hitting us in the back of the head. Yeah. So we would always All the return. dumb stuff. We would yeah. Just, yeah, always be messing around. Oh yeah. I kind of took it a little too <laughs> far one night. Yeah, yeah, he went ham. Yeah, this girl, uh, I was, she was talking shit about beer pong. Like, I don't fucking yeah. care about beer pong. <laughs> You're better than me, whatever. Yeah, good for you. She just kept fucking to tossing screws in my case. Yeah. And I, would, I was just picking them out and, like, tossing yeah. them back. And then she started going, like, rapid fire. Yeah. And then so, I think she got uh, the other girl to, like, oh, help yeah. her. And they, like, spammed. Yeah. They like, were they were going, just they were <laughs> machine gunning. Yeah, it was like, I yeah. couldn't get a screw yeah. into this case. <laughs> Without getting hit. Yeah, so I walked over to the yeah. girl who started off. <laughs> I took a whole bucket of her screws and just dumped them in the case. Yeah. Easily 300 screws oh, yeah. in that bucket. They had to pick I them all out. Dumped them in the case. <laughs> oh, and that was a good night. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I looked down at the end of the line, and our buddy Joel was down there, and he was just shaking his head. Yeah. Like, Come on. Yeah. And I was like, Good to know, though, like, we later talked to him, and it wasn't yeah, because of that. It was because one, one of the people on the line was super loud. Uh, and he didn't. He didn't enjoy that. Like he was, he had been through a bad day, and just yeah. the the intensity of the voice was like too much, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, so, man. which is understandable. Like it gets to be rough yeah, that sometimes. Still like that to this yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah, I think the first thing that like, I don't know. I think, th like when I remember our friendship, like the first thing that like really strikes me, and I think like. You took this poorly when I said it, and it was in no ways meant poorly. But there was a moment, like, when we were hanging out that I said, I don't understand how we're friends. And you took it terrible. Like, you took it bad. You were unhappy. You were sad or mad or something. What, like, what, how, we were on our line, and I was our like, line now? yeah. And I was like, man, sometimes I just don't know how we're friends. I kind of remember that. Yeah. I and think you, I think I don't think I took it I did take it back. Yeah. But I didn't take it like negatively. It was just like I think I was just salty. Yeah. I was like, damn, I thought I was like I thought we were really good friends. No. And you're like, and like questioning our friendship. No. And like that that's what I think got misconstrued in it. Like oh, yeah, sure. to me, for me in my mind, I was like, Man, I can't believe we're friends. We're different in so, so different. many ways. Yeah. And like but we're still really good friends. And, like, that was a big thing for me. Like, yeah. Do you remember what we were talking about? I don't remember. It yeah. was one of those things where I, like, I was like, nah, bro. Yeah. It was something, it was something weird. Yeah. Super weird. Like, it, was, it was something you were into. Yeah, but we I, disagreed I, on it. Yeah, I wasn't super into hard. It. I was like, nah, bro. I, think I don't know. For me. Yeah. And the conversation up to that point, there was no, like, oh, yeah. no animosity. No hostility no, at all. Yeah, nothing. Like, it was completely out, cool. I was, I was like, what? Yeah. Which, like, it wasn't meant that. to be a bad right. thing. Like, it was completely supposed to be, like, a, a compliment of sorts, like, right. towards our friendship. Yeah, I but, took, like, I took it the wrong way yeah, way. you took it the wrong way, and I felt bad. Like, I still, to this day, feel bad, and I think that's why I remember it. Maybe. It's because, like... But you have no reason. To yeah, like... We it, talked it out. Like, yeah. I understand oh, yeah. now what you were trying to say, but... But, like, inside, that always stuck with me, because yeah. I was like, ah, yeah. I feel bad. Like, I, I wasn't trying to trash on, on him or us as friends. Right. But, like, that was something that always hung with me just a little bit. Yeah. And, like, but it does attribute to how different we are. For sure. In so many ways, but, like, how we still can get past that. Yeah. So. What? Give me a drink of water here. Um. <clears throat> there, no, there was something, like, our friendship got to the point where when... Do you remember who left my line? 
when you came over? Oh, yeah. Do, do you remember who it was? Mm-hmm. Who? Uh, Pirate Man Randy. Pirate Man Randy. Pirate Man Randy's who I swapped out. Are like, you? yeah. Because at least that's what I was told. Chad uh, came up to me one day when we were leaving and rocking out, and he said, just so you know, that's right, that's right. you might end up going to line one tomorrow. And I said, what are you talking about? Who was they? Somebody got in an argument, and ran, and this dude had got put over on our line. I don't remember who he replaced. Oh. oh it was when, um, no, one guy retired. Jerry retired. Yeah, yeah. They pulled Randy over. And then and Randy, he's two years away from retiring. He's yeah. one of the dudes out there that don't give a damn. Yeah, he's ready he's to roll. There. He's just there to get a paycheck and mm-hmm. go home. And that's it. <clears throat> and we were fed up. Yeah. At this point in time, we were chasing numbers. Mm-hmm. We were trying to hit goals You guys, yeah, 75, 80 a day. day. Yeah. Hardcore. We were, yeah, we were really, mm-hmm. at that point in time, our whole line was on, was it like, we were all clicking. Yeah. And it was get as many freaking cases oh, yeah. out a day as we could. And Randy came over and he slowed the whole thing down. Yeah. And I convinced the entire other people on our line. I was like, yo, we need John. <laughs> I remember that yeah. because Chad, like, that was his warning. He was like, yeah. hey, by the way, you might be going over to one. And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, just so you know, everybody on our line requested you to come over to one. Yeah. And it was super awkward at that time because I had went from four. Mm-hmm. They had traded me to two because two wasn't running fast enough. Mm-hmm. And they were like, hey, we need somebody faster to run. Yep. And they swapped me out for the slow guy on two. Yep. And then, like, two weeks after that, I switched over to one. I was like, dang, yeah, I you guys are killing me. I, because we were at this point in time, we were already really good friends. Mm-hmm. At this point in time... When we were on separate lines, we were sneaking off our line. Not to go talk. Yeah, like uh, walking. We were walking away from our line to go, to go talk. have a con- yeah. quick conversation with each other. And when it came up that nobody wanted this guy on our line anymore because mm-hmm. he was slowing us down so much, I convinced Bonnie because mm-hmm. she was like, well, who can we get? Nobody's really good out here. And I was like, yo, John will fucking work. Mm-hmm. He'll do the damn thing. Yeah. He'll help us push numbers. He'll be on board with everything. Mm-hmm. And it's in my head, and I was like, man, he's my friend. And I yeah. Because <laughs> it's not like everybody that was on our line at the time, and even now, yeah. I didn't have a conversation with them. Oh, yeah. I'm comfortable with all of them, but it's to not an a, extent. Yeah, it's not I'm like not a really, good conversation yeah. or a long conversation. I don't necessarily like talking to them. I love talking to Chad mm-hmm. just because he's like, <laughs> he's, he's out there kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. He's, Which, it's an interesting conversation, oh, but like... But the thing is, is like he always he keeps me on my toes. Yeah. Because he's a big conspiracy theorist. Mm-hmm. He's a thinker. Yeah. So he always keeps me thinking. Yeah. Now I enjoy conversations with him, but it's it wasn't it's not like a friendship conversation. Yeah. I can't I can't like, you I'll I'll be in the middle of a conversation with you, or we won't even be talking. Yeah. You'll bust out in a song, and I'll finish the. Oh yeah, day. absolutely. Or you'll bust out in the yeah. song. I'll start twerking on the line. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I can't do I mean, kind of twerking, if you want to count that. It's all back. It's all, <laughs> yeah, let's be honest, it's all back. There's a little shoulder in there, but I mean, ain't none of that butt. No. <laughs> He's sitting on. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh, baby, get it. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. That, but I, yeah, I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have someone to talk to. I'm going to have yeah. a friend over here. Oh. And we're going to we're gonna hit numbers again. And for the next two months, we smashed we that line. Killed. Yeah. And then they brought in us. <laughs> upgrade. We killed it. Yeah. Dude, we got to the point right before that upgrade, we were hitting over a hundred cases in line. Yeah. And our goal was like eighty a day. Yeah. We were going and easily th- forty cases. And then they had to bring our goal down like thirty cases. Thirty percent. Yeah. Thirty percent. Yeah. They brought our goal down after they put that new piece in off yeah. the line because it slowed us down so much. And we haven't hit We haven't hit that since we barely sixty 50, maybe. Barely hit fifty a yeah. day. On good days when we run small cases, we might hit 60. Yeah. But. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's Absolutely. it. And then, well, shit, but we didn't even really hang out outside of work. Oh, yeah, for a long while. A long time. But that, I think that's partly because of me. Like, I am hardcore introvert. Oh, like, same. hardcore. So, like, yeah. for me, a perfect day is to literally sit alone in my room and, like, play a computer game or watch, you know, Netflix or Hulu or whatever. Right. 
for like hours on end and I can do that without seeing anybody mm. and for me that compounds like it yeah. sounds weird but like if I do that one day the second day I desire it so yeah. much more yeah. and the third day and like by four or five days that's all you yeah can care about. that's all I can do sure. like that's something we also have in common like we get mm-hmm. I'm routine yeah and I'm so routine that when my routine changes mm-hmm. I get anxiety and I'm oh, like, really? like yeah it'll be bad yeah so like I think that's, I have a lot of, well, I don't have a lot of, but I do have like mental, I hate saying mental illness, but that's what it is. Yeah. And it runs in my family and it, that'll trigger really yeah. bad. My anxiety will, will mm-hmm. spike, my depression will come yeah. back around. And that's just, and like the smallest thing could trigger it. Yeah. So when it changes and I adapt to it, mm-hmm. I stick to it so I don't have to change again. Yeah. So when I like, I get out of my routine, and I sit on the couch and watch Netflix for yeah. like four hours. You freaking out? Home, or you just adapt like, to it? Yeah. At, at one point, it's like this isn't cool. I don't like it. But then it's like I did it. And yeah. The next day I did it longer, and the next day I'll do it longer than that. Yeah. So then that becomes my routine. Yeah. It becomes and the norm. It sucked into yeah. that. I think I'm kind of the opposite though. Yeah. Like, for me, I I love chaos and like change, mm-hmm. and I can't like. Even when we're at work, like running cases, I almost never run the case the same way twice. Yep. Like at least not in a row. And it's super weird. Like mm-hmm. we talked about this, like uh, if we were ever to be followed by somebody, yeah. they could maybe follow you, but I would throw people in the dirt. Like yeah. because my my life is just not routine in any way and I can't put my mind in that. Like yeah. I'm just an abstract thinker kind of person. See, I do that. If if someone's following me, mm-hmm. I'll mill. Yeah. And also, it just because of the military, yeah. you're told not to. <clears throat> Don't go yeah. the same way home. Always switch Absolutely. things up. So I do that. And that makes sense. But if someone was, like, if I had a serious girlfriend mm-hmm. and they were with me a lot, they would know. They would know my day. Yeah. That I'm, I'm very predictable. Yeah. I'm very predictable. Yeah. I would sit down. I would get home from work and I could be like, yo, what am I going to do? Mm-hmm. Or maybe if you were here, I mm-hmm. just like fly on the water, calling them like, "What's Blake gonna do?" And you yeah. have a camera, they would be they'd be able to tell you spot on yeah. what I'm gonna do until I go to bed. Yeah, legit. Like I'm I'm a very routine person. Yeah, that might that might be the military. Yeah, I mean that's normal though. Like that's oh, yeah. kind of what they're shooting for. Like that, that everybody be the same. Absolutely. So yeah, I get that. Yeah. So so like what. What is the thing that like throws you off the most of like our difference, like a difference between us that like that is like the hardest. Yeah, the before. hardest. Like I understand your point, kind of, or like even if you don't understand my point, but like our what do you think our largest difference is? I guess I'll just simplify it to that. One hundred percent. The easiest uh-huh. answer, the and the most accurate answer is our hobbies, our interests. Really. Yeah, percent. That's what you're going. With? Yes, that's absolutely. not what I expected. What What do you think? I thought you would say like religion. Well, I was raised Catholic. Like, yeah, I, just don't think I, I always forget it. that though. I was like, yeah, and from I was I was baptized mm-hmm. Catholic when I was a, like baby baby. Catholics mm-hmm. do it like right off the bat. Yeah. So a couple months old, I was baptized, and until I was in second grade, I was going to a private Catholic school. Yeah. I was in church every Monday and Wednesday in school, and I was at church every Sunday mm-hmm. for a Sunday mass with my family. Yeah, we couldn't even travel to see family without missing mass. Yeah, like, so I like I was it was very strict. Yeah, and it was very, it was a very big part of my life until I was second grade. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, even after that, for a while after my parents split up. It was, that was about the breaking point. My yeah. parents split up, and it was just never a thing anymore. Yeah. But even after that, like, I kind of carried it on with friends. I got, I would, I would I'd probably say at that point, no. second, when I got pulled out of my private school, my parents were still together, and they were together for until I was in fifth grade. Yeah. And I think even at that point, we were still going to church on Sundays. Yeah. But I wasn't going to church with the school twice a week. Mm-hmm. So it was still a big part of my life until I was probably 10 years old. Yeah. And 
when we stopped going, it was mm-hmm. almost like we missed church one Sunday and yeah. never went back. It was mm-hmm. never like we okay. kind of went, we didn't. Like it was sometimes. a dump off, like it you hit a like, cliff and dropped. It was done. And it was it. When it was done, it was done. Yeah. And then one of my really good friends in, oh, she, she's been my friend since I switched schools. Yeah. She was very religious. Her mm-hmm. whole family was very religious. And throughout, like, junior high and high school, I mm-hmm. started, I would go occasionally to church with her. Yeah. And then in high school, I think it was high school. It might have been, I, maybe before high school. I mean, she, he might have been a junior high friend that we got closer in high school. Yeah. But I would go with him occasionally. Mm-hmm. So I would probably say it, even it, from junior high to maybe my junior year of high school I was still going to at that point a Christian church yeah um once a month two times a month yeah so still a little like yeah, religion so in the life not, yeah, not complete dump off prominent yeah and even now if you ask me like I struggle with what I believe in now mm-hmm. And I, I, it's not that I want to get away from religion it's yeah. just I have a lot of questions mm-hmm. and that's fair but then when something when something happens to me mm-hmm. I, it's instinct to turn to yeah to turn to God to turn to Jesus to talk to somebody yeah to talk to the higher power yeah and it's like, in my mind it's like I'm I'm always in a constant tug of war with that it's like yeah. well, is, is, I is question it? Yeah. that but then I always turn to that mm-hmm. so am I religious or am I yeah. am I purposely trying to turn my back on something yeah it's something I've always struggled with and I think I've come to at this point in my life I think I'm I've become comfortable with where I'm at with yeah. religion. Yeah. I'm not I don't I'm not trying to push myself one way or the other. Yeah. I'm just it's Natural. just there. Okay? Yeah. But I, I feel yeah. That. I said hobbies because I'm a huge nerd. I Let's mean, be honest. I, mean, I am. With one hundred percent like endearing. <laughs> yeah. You're a fucking nerd. Oh yeah I am. Big time. huge nerd. Yeah. Like and I'll be honest, my nerdism like it still gets me because my like nerdiness did not come into play until college, which is like really? completely different from everyone. Like in high school, I was like a normal kid trying to fit in. I didn't want to be in band, but my mom said, "Every other kid in our our family has been in band. You're gonna be in band. Choose something." So I chose the coolest thing I could, and that was percussion. Yeah. And I was like, "All right, well at least if I have to be in this, I'm gonna rock it out." Yeah. And I was like, "Mom, can I quit?" No, you can't quit until eighth grade. Mom, can I quit? No, you can't quit till you do your first year of marching band. And I was like, all right, well, whatever. So I got through my first year of marching band. I quit the next year. Like, I literally was so quick to get out of it. And I I wanted to be the cool kid. Like, I wanted to yeah. be oh, liked by other people uh, and, like, wanted to go to parties, wanted to see, you know, friends, girls, like, oh. the whole thing. Got to college, everything changed. And it may be because I went to a Christian college. Yeah. Ooh, nice crack there. Hey, man. Yeah. Second puberty. Yeah. Always coming at you, bro. And get you like second summer in Illinois, right? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't see it out of nowhere. It comes and goes. Yeah. But, like, I got I got into college, and, like, even my first and second year of college, like, it was all normal stuff. Yeah. I played Halo, Call of Duty, did sports. Like, I was big into lifting at that point. Like, everything was normal. Well, I guess the societal version of normal. Right. And oh, then yeah. one year, one year... I think it was my sophomore or junior year, like mid-year, somebody was like, hey, you want to play this game? And I was like, sure, magic. whatever. And like, so I played my first game of Magic. Yeah. I was instantly hooked. Like, it, it clicked all the buttons for me in my head, yeah. and it was like, oh, you can be tactical. You can outthink your opponent. You can play this game. And like, mm-hmm. for me, puzzles have always been fun, and to me, that's what the game is. It's a big old puzzle that is constantly changing yeah. that I have to solve in order to beat somebody else and do better. And, like, I'm super competitive. Absolutely. So I'm competitive, like, too, but yeah. in a different aspect. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't play my first game of Magic until tonight. Yeah. Tonight, you yep. convinced me. And it, we have a buddy at work who also plays Magic. And you need at least three people to play. And yeah. I was like, I'm not, I'm not fucking into it. I like you guys. I give it a shot. Yeah. I'm all about trying new things, especially right now in my yeah. life. I'm at a point where, mm-hmm. like, I want to say yes to everything. Mm-hmm. I just want to do. You playing that yes man movie? Yeah. He's oh, like, I, I, I do whatever. Yeah. I, feel, I, I went my whole life being like, ah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I don't need yeah, that. You want to come out tonight? Nah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'm trying to. I just, I mean. just new experiences. Yeah. Absolutely. 
It was fun to a point. Yeah. Maybe if I played more, I would enjoy it more. And mm-hmm. that's also a part of me that's like, well, I'm not, I don't know how to play. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not good at it. Yeah. So I hate it. Yeah. That's just I get that. And then everything will be like that for me until I do it often enough to where I'm good at it. Yeah. And then that's when I kind of, I'll be like, yeah, this is for me or. Yeah, I don't I like this. It, yeah. Not for me. So, yeah. But Which is understandable. That, before tonight. Mm-hmm. The most interaction I had with magic cards was when I stole them out of kids' book bags in fifth grade. Oh. Yeah. You, you I, that guy. I probably had like 200 magic. I'm still waiting to see those and be I, like. I don't know where they went. Dude, I'm just saying, there are some expensive cards out there. You find those, you sure. might have a good. Dude, I'm sure I had some money. Dude, I'm just saying, there's cards out there that sell for 10 grand. A single card. This is a piece of cardboard I wish I that somebody it. laminated and painted. Sells for ten grand. I wish I had them. There's more. Like there's yeah. higher price cards. Yeah. I think what happened though was I know I had them until I was about high school. Yeah. And I kept them underneath my bed because I fucking stole them. Yeah. So they were shoved yeah. All Don't want anybody bed. to find that. And I think when my mom moved, my mom moved when I was a sophomore in high school. She moved mm-hmm. out of the house that we lived in after my parents got divorced. She moved out of that house, and I think I think I jumped them. Yeah, I don't remember what you might have thrown ten grand in the trash can. I probably threw way more than that, dude. I had so many. Our yeah. our closet in fifth grade, our book bag closet, mm-hmm. was a walk in closet. Yeah, it was a doorway in, and it went all the dude, way. You got down. a fancy closet, like it was, it was just we old. had them like stacked on the edge of the the room, yeah. to where everybody could see all of your stuff all the time. Like no. it was an old school, real old school. It's not even up anymore. It's yeah. Tore it down. Um, but yeah, it was like a walk-in closet, and I would yeah. just be like, "Hey, can I go get something out of my book bag?" Yeah, snag everybody else's stuff. Dude, I had a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't even know yeah. what the fuck Yu-Gi-Oh is. I had a bunch of those. Too. Yeah, but it, like, and I don't. That must have just been like me acting out. That was right yeah. around the time my my parents' marriage was falling That's apart. Because right. other than that, I don't think I I don't remember stealing anything ever. Yeah. I remember like running around with kids who was stole, mm-hmm. and I would be scared shitless. Oh, yeah. Of being caught with them. I had the same experience. Like, for me, the first thing I stole was a plastic airplane from a gas station. My mom told me no. And I was like, but mom, I want it. Yeah. She's like, no, we can't afford it right now. I'm not doing it. It's a plastic airplane. Right. Now I get that. But right. I literally took it, and I felt so guilty. I cried, handed it back to my mom, and was like, mom, I stole this. Yeah. She's like, I'm s- what like yeah she she got ex- upset uh, understandably so like i had stolen things right and so like she went back the next day offered the the cashier the the money she, he's like no nah, that's okay yeah and like gave me the airplane but like i i'm that way like i felt so bad mm-hmm. that like i wrapped myself out yeah in so many things and yeah. like definitely I, have like yeah big conscience yeah both of us yeah oh like, absolutely when we do something bad like mm-hmm. i'll snap at work and be like yo i'm sorry yeah <laughs> it, was, it was just a moment, a weak moment, yeah. and I got lost, but I apologize. Yeah. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. But that's like, I would, because I was always, I mean, I was in band. I started playing the snare drum mm-hmm. the year I switched schools. Yeah. Third grade. Okay. And I think that just so happened to be the first year you could be in band. Yeah. So I started playing the snare in third grade. I didn't stop playing the snare until I was in eighth grade. Okay. But. I did was apparently I wasn't good. Oh really? I mean, like I passed all my tests. I yeah. Was, we like did performances and like all that kind of stuff, and I was there. But and I was there. I mean, I, I, I played. <laughs> he may not have been doing anything, but he was there, no, ladies no, and gents. I played. <laughs> I, played. I played in the like we would do like I mean, it wasn't like choir, but it wasn't yeah. marching band at that point. Oh yeah. We just do like a little performance. A little concert band, yeah. And I was there playing. Naturally. Not just playing, there. <laughs> not just there. But then, like, in our, my first parade, I remember marching in. Mm-hmm. I played the snare, and we marched, did the parade. The next parade, they were like, yo, you're playing the cymbals. <laughs> you play something. They kicked and, you out. You they downgraded know, you right you there. You don't understand what, hey, you're playing the cymbals. You don't understand that feeling when yeah. someone tells you you're playing the cymbals, and you've never been in band. Yeah. You play percussion. Yeah. You... That's you're like getting like, put on the water. triangle. Like that's boy, that's the, the half water step. Water boy for the basketball yeah. team. You're just there because you paid your dues. Yeah. yeah. That's like that's to us. That was like a half step above the triangle, and you didn't want to be on the triangle because you couldn't hear the triangle. Yeah. 
Like everybody started going, you were like, ping. It was. Yeah. Everybody's out there, wah, wah, wah. It basically was like, yo, you're not getting enough fights. Yeah. (laughs) Get off. (laughs) This is the last time I played. Really? Yeah. That they, I marched. They were like, yo, you're playing the symbol. Yeah. I was like, all right. Yeah. And I never played again. Nice. I never, I never went back to band practice. I never went back to main class. Yeah. And I might, I think I actually, actually left my drum at school, so I don't even have my snare anymore. Nice. No, we, that was completely different for us. Yeah. Like for our high school, our band was was like the big show kind well, of thing. High school, I didn't play. Oh yeah. Yeah. But like for us, that was that was what we aspired to be. So like I I got through middle school by like not doing anything. Got into high school and actually had to like kind of give it an effort. And like we were we were good enough to where like we did a parade where another school was with us because our our band was only like sixty people. So we didn't have a lot of people to march. Yeah. So we were like, we'll just do it with the other school in our town. We had to stop. Like, we had to downgrade our playing in order to fit them. Like, that's, yeah, that's how good we were. We were like, we were sitting there like, playing out really fast. By the time we were done, we were literally playing quarter notes. If you all don't know, that's the most basic, like, bah, 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 That's the shit I can do before they put me on symbols. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and like, that was, we were proud of that. So, and in high school, our band was big too. It yeah, was very popular, and they were really good. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. There was like a couple kids in band that I was like friends yeah. with, and everybody else was just like they were band members. Oh yeah, same. But I mean, like I could have easily found myself in that, that boat too. Yeah, if that one, who would have known if they would have <laughs> downgraded me to symbol? If that one the down, he could have been the leader of the marching band right there. He could have been the king nerd. You never know. So, but yeah, I mean, like my childhood was always. Sports. Yeah. I would tell everybody, man, baseball was my first love. Yeah. I love the sports so much. I wish, man. That's like, I'm obsessed. Yeah. That's my thing. Yeah. And I played basketball when I was like, you kid. are obsessed. I love playing football. Yeah. I, but I, feel I never that. played, I played basketball until I think I played like three years. Mm-hmm. Just never played it like organized. Yeah. And then I was really into baseball until I think my last year of actual like organized baseball was fifth grade. Okay. And I think I stopped because my parents couldn't afford to pay the dues to mm, play every yeah. year. Yeah. I tried out for my junior high team, but at the point I was so out of practice and I didn't make the team. Yeah. And then it was like, mom. If they don't want me, I don't want them. Well, kind it of was thing. like, like I'm just not gonna try out next year. Yeah. I was supposed to try out my freshman year in high school. But the day of tryouts, I slept in because I was hungover. <laughs> nice. Um, that, yeah. Yeah. But I, like, always loved baseball. And all through high school, I would play pickup basketball. Mm-hmm. Like, my buddy, I always went to our recreation center with my buddy. Yeah. Jimbo. Jimbo. Yeah. That's his Jimbo, name. Jimbo, and then the, our, our, like, the dude out there, his name was Hustle. This dude, I like, he would, could run the court fucking backwards, bro. So was Hustle Straight a off. nickname yeah. or like, okay. Yeah, I thought you everyone, were trying to tell me Hustle was his actual name. I was going to be like, man. His, his <laughs> nickname was Hustle, man. Mm-hmm. But like the people who were close with him would call him Hustle. And people who played with him every day would just call Hustle. Yeah. It was the easiest. Yeah. One name. I'm not joking, dude. This dude would run the court backwards. He was that fucking good. Really? Yeah. He taught me a lot. And I got really good at street ball. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I could not play organized yeah. basketball. And I'm talking this dude. He would go up for a layup, and he would scoop the ball underneath and flip it, mm-hmm. and it would go all around the hoop, hit the backboard, and spin in the rim. He oh, taught yeah. me all kinds of just stupid Isn't tricks. Isn't that like the finger roll or something like no, that? No, like finger roll is like into the rim. Okay. He would come up like this way. Under. He would, he would spin the ball. He would come up. like He would like go up for a dunk, and then he would come under and spin the ball here, and he would shoot up, and he would hit the fucking backboard Boop. and just spin right in. Right. But he was like... The way he was throwing it up, it should have went that way. Yeah. But he spun it, so it went the other way. Yeah. It shows how much I know about basketball. Like, insane, I'm bro. not a basketball like, guy. He was, he was crazy. He could shoot with both hands. Yeah. I look like a freaking child when I try to do anything <laughs> with my left hand. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's bad. Uh-huh. <laughs> I learned a lot from him. My buddy Jimbo, mm-hmm. he's like, he's maybe 5'4". Mm-hmm. This dude could jump so high, he like th- could do a Vince Carter dunk. He'd get his whole, whole arm in, there? in the rim. Nice. Man, he was my he was my age. He was my friend all through high school. Yeah. 
And if we were, we, we got so good at PE, sports PE. Mm-hmm. Like my freshman year of high school, we took, it was half gym, half the year, and then uh, health the next half. Yeah. And then s- sophomore, junior, senior, was, we got a PE mm-hmm. the whole year. I was in high intensity PE. It was like weightlifting and stuff. Yeah. And I was, at the time, I was 5'10 my freshman year, and I weighed like 130. Yeah, I know. I've seen the pictures. I was fucking yeah. skinny. Like, like a, skinny. A, a little dust, dusty wind might have blown you to pieces. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of thing. I was, in, in, oh my gosh, it makes me sick. <laughs> I look sick. Yeah. Um, yeah, super skinny. So I was like, trying to lift with all the athletes and stuff. Like, I yeah. couldn't bench the freaking bar. Yeah. So I was like, nope, I'm not doing that anymore. And we went, I took games PE, and I took it with him. Yeah. And we were always, we would, we, you could pick who you played with. Yeah. Didn't matter what we played. We would always be on the top. same team. Yeah. We would fucking run it. We would play Ultimate Frisbee inside. Mm-hmm. Oh, baby, my sport. And it was like, it was the length of a basketball court. Mm-hmm. I would get the Frisbee, and Jim would just take off. Mm-hmm. Just fucking launch it. He'd, Done. He'd jump off the wall. Yeah. Catch, he'd catch the Frisbee. Jump off the wall. I've seen him do it, bro. He would just fucking run, and I threw it too high, and he jumped and then jumped off the wall. Boop, catch it. Ping pong, you couldn't stop us at anything. Really? Yeah. You guys play ping pong and PE? Ping pong, pickleball, frisbee. And then for that, our requirement was once a month we had to do a run. Really? We had to do a mile and a half run, or a mile run in like a certain amount of time. Mm-hmm. That's it. As long as we could do Dang. that run, we were good. Yeah. Man, I went to the wrong school or something. Like, that wasn't our PE. Play games, volleyball. Basketball, we would just play games. Yeah, that's it. That, that was like that's what I was into. I got yeah. into girls really young too, mm-hmm. and it, like I, you, you were you like you got on that board. Yeah, you you were on that train, the girls train, and then it was college ish. Uh, and high school. I would say like my senior year of high school slash the. I took a year in between high school and college, so yeah. I, I waited a year, and like that year really solidified totally. that. But like it started a little yeah. in my late high school. Like I had a weird two years. My freshman and sophomore year, it was nothing. Yeah. Then my like end of sophomore year, junior year, I went crazy, and then like halfway to late, well, I guess it would have been like late senior year. I yeah, same thing. Like I. It just died mm-hmm. right at the end of senior year, or like a little bit after. Yeah. So. And then now you're with the young woman. You mm-hmm. guys are about to get married. And yes, we are. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. A lot has changed there. But. A lot. Well, sir. We're on a. We're about an hour in. Yeah. On a nicer, the, nicer note. Yeah. You wanna you drinks. wanna go for our items? You wanna go first? You want me to go first? Yeah, well, first I'm gonna pee because I gotta go pee real bad. Okay, we we'll edit that out. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, you wanna go first? Or you want me to? Time. I'm uh, I don't know if y'all can see, but he pulled this thing out and he said it's the stand for one of my items. Yeah. I'm curious to see what this. You is. super. All right. All right. So I want this you is, to go first. This is the thing. What do you have to say? I'm not even going with that first. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to make you wait. Right. I'm going to make you wait and see what it, what happens. Right. The first thing I'm going to pull out, I thought this would be a super easy, like, quick topic for us. Yeah. No, get the fuck out of here. The Harry Potter Elder Wand. Dude, all right. The easiest thing ever. Okay, so hold on. I'm Since you since you whipped it out. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> Harry HP. Dog, bro. That's my boy right there. Yeah. Can we, can we oh, absolutely. Right yeah. That's like... Uh, oh, yeah. When I... We say John is... You say you're nerdy. Oh, yeah, super nerdy. And I say I'm, I'm not yeah. really nerdy at all. I'm not into, like, yeah. nerdy stuff. Magic. Yeah. It's crazy on the Star Wars. League stuff. of Legends, like, all that good stuff. Not into it. I don't like Star Wars, but, but that's I a personal choice. fucking love uh, Harry Potter. Right? I geek out so yeah. hard about Harry Potter. Yeah. Love him. Yeah. For me, yeah. it was huge. Like, as a kid, one... I grew up in a religious household who, like, where we weren't allowed to watch, like, witchcraft and wizardry because it was of the devil right. kind of thing. For sure. And, like, that was my mom's view. I disagreed largely. Like, I loved that stuff. But it was also because, like, I turned, like, nine or ten. Huh. And in the movie, the first original movie, Harry Potter turns 11. And that is the first year that he goes off to school. 
And so, like, that came out when I was 9 or 10, and I got to watch it. And I was like, I could be a freaking wizard next year. I could be Harry. Yeah. I, like, so much of me wanted that that part of my, like, that world to be real so that I wouldn't have to be stuck in, like, lame old normal world. I could be a wizard. But, like. I think that's another thing that separates you. Yeah, like, I loved it. I can do this. Yeah. This could be real. And he was like, yo, this shit's fucking dope. Yeah. Like, I never thought. Like, was... that was my nine, ten year old oh, self. Sure. Like, I and get also, that. We're like, five, I'm five years older than you. Yeah. So, I guess. You were like 15 when it. No. Nah, yeah. I wasn't that old. Yeah. When did Harry Potter come out? Uh, when I was 10, so 2005, I think. Hey, if that's no right. Way. I was born that's in 95. That was my freshman year of high school. Yeah. That would have been about right. Because I would have been starting middle school. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess it, maybe because I was reading the books. Yeah. I was reading the books when I was young. Yeah. Which also it's kills me because you never finished the books. I didn't, bro. I like, read, I, I think read that's... through four. Yeah. Stop reading. I think that's our difference is, like, for me, the reason I think I'm nerdy in comparison to this, I'm, like, I hugely geek over yeah. out over the facts of, like, Harry Potter. Like, I want to be put into a Harry Potter, like, trivia game show yeah. and just trash on some people. Dude, and as Pete Davidson famously said in yeah. Harry on the Grande's videos, <laughs> I fucking love Harry Potter. I watch Harry Potter all day, every day, for the rest of my life. But I don't know who fucking Dumbledore, what Dumbledore's cat's name was from six years ago. Yeah. I don't fucking know that <laughs> shit. Yeah. No, like that's the stuff that I like try to remember. I'm like, yeah, no, he was like, that's why I know he was 11 years old, his yeah, first well, year. Like, just like a week ago, at work, you were like, do you know the Harry Potter spells? And I was like, uh, yeah, I know tons of them. Like anything they've done in the movies, I bet. I, like if you said it out loud, I bet I could tell you what it did. Yeah, was, did that noise come from my kitchen? I think that was from your bathroom. Did you leave the seat up when you went? No, but I, don't know what, I don't know what would have fallen down. Would have been the seat? No. I That's what know, I thought. I don't know what it would have been. I'll check on it after the video. Yeah. But anyway, like, yeah. Random. You name a spell. Yeah. I could, or like, say a spell. I could probably tell you what it does. Like, oh, yeah, for sure. Lumos Everything Maximus is, is yeah, like light. the light spell. I only know that because we do fucking good yeah. on it at work. And yeah. I know it. You know the water one. Yeah. Aguamente. I know... Expelliarmus. Yeah. Obviously. No, I got them all, man. Yeah, but I'm not like I don't. Expect a Patronums. Like, I, I fucking love Harry Potter. Yeah. Man. I love when he does his spells. I yeah. I love when Hermione does his spells. Oh, that was another thing. Like, I, I was so in love with Hermione. Yeah, you were into her. Like to me, Hermione was like almost an older sister. Nah. Like, that's my nine to ten year old thought process was like, she's a year older than me. Huh? She could help me get through wizard school. No. Like <laughs> you were like into her, like oh, that's my girl she hot. Right there, yeah. Like, yeah. I would, and I would hold hands with her. I would, I would hold her, hands with her. She'd be my girlfriend. <laughs> I give her hugs every once in a while, yeah. but only when her parents says so. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's you. Now. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, that is me, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, so I think that's like that's one of our huge similarities. That's why I picked it as I was like, yeah, me too. I was like, this is an easy thing for us to talk about, Did and it's something my, we super love. My cover photo is. Has this doll in it? Really? My YouTube channel? Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. I'm holding it. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm holding it. It's uh, absolutely one of yeah. my favorite things in life is Harry Potter. Oh yeah, For absolutely. Sure. Hands Fantastic. My mom still hates it. In case you guys were curious. That's your mom. Though. I got a I got a warning. Nice yeah, I got a warning last time. She came down for like, oh, what was it? I think it was like Christmas or something. So we got like we got a family tradition. Like me and my sister are both the two that are really into it. And she gives, they, Walmart came out with Harry Potter mystery wand boxes. Yeah. That is our thing. Like, any big occasion, that's what we do. We give each other one of those. We got to open it and find out. Like, she gave me one of those. My mom was like, I think uh, you should be careful about the demonic forces you're letting into your life. And I was like, Mom, it's a plastic wand. Like, it's not even, like, a good imitation wand. Yeah. It's made of plastic. That's, like, that's how religious your mom yeah. is, though. That, she's on that yeah. spectrum of, like, Harry and like, Potter's the Yeah. Devil. Like, I can get it. Like, I understand where you're trying to come from. Mm -hmm. But it's, it just, to me, that shows, like, the uneducation of, like, I haven't even looked into it, but I'm going to judge it yeah. kind of thing. Right. 
So, but that's for another video. We'll tackle that when we tackle like religion or yeah, something. Sure. So, all right, you want you bring yeah, out your next it. item? No, you bring it out. What's, what should we save it for last? I think we should save it okay. for last. I think you're way too interested in it. All right, my next item, something uh -huh. very simple, but uh -huh. something that we both also are very particular about. Particular, okay. I like your wording. Oh, hair gel. I hair like gel. it. I like it. Freaking hair. Oh, yeah. Man. Absolutely. I don't want to. This is hair gel. I'm not going to put her face up. Yeah. It'll Branding. roll somewhere. Branding. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Funny. You don't even notice right now. Like, I got my hair gelled up. And your hair is, for how you keep it, it's pretty out of whack. Yeah. You usually keep it really, oh, yeah. really tight. It's long right now. You get a cut. You're usually pretty good at getting a cut like every yeah. two weeks. Yeah. It's just been a, a rough couple, like weeks to keep up with everything we've got a lot going on in like regular life right and then also yeah. the times that we're in right now too. yeah but it's so, always yeah hair man i'm super particular yeah about you are hair you do really good about your beard yeah, like i'm, I'm bad good. about my beard i know i don't shave my neck as much as i should yeah. and like i can't keep it shaped as well everything, yeah. but you were like I'm, on just, top of it yeah like that's your thing that's how i like so it and like i don't know there's just something about like I guess for a guy, yeah. What do you have if you don't have hair? Yeah, or like, like even if you don't have hair, that's a look. Yeah, we don't have, we're not, we don't have makeup. Yeah, like, I guess we, men can wear makeup. You know, I'm not saying anything about yeah. guys who but wear like, makeup. But like, what else we do we have to attract anything. people? Right. Like, what can right. we say about ourselves yeah. individually? Right. Girls have their lashes. Yeah, they do their eyebrows. Yeah, their they clothes their, come into it a lot, they and do like, their hair so yeah, many different ways. We're really uh, stuck to like. I got short hair. What am I going to do with it? Like, yeah. I can put it up. Am I going to lay it down? Yeah. Well, that's about it. I'm also, I guess it's kind of conceited, but I like to look good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, no, that's fine. Like, I understand that. Yeah. I'm wearing a button-down shirt right now. Sure. And, it's like, are, yeah, people, like, I, I like want to look good. All the time. Yeah. Like, I have, a, I have a thing. I won't wear sweatpants out of the house. Yeah. That's fair. I just won't do it. Yeah. The only reason I wear shorts out of my house mm -hmm. Is because I wear pants all day, and I'm I stuck love, in a hot factory. I love shorts. Yeah. Man. And it's almost fall. My favorite, oh. my favorite yeah. shorts, pants. Weather? Top-bottom combo is shorts and a sweatshirt. Yeah. Shorts and a long sleeve. Yeah. I love it. Oh, and I can't it's fantastic. Wait it yeah. Like, sweatpants. I have a thing about wearing cutoffs. Like, I, yeah. in a cutoff, I'm like, I look okay in a cutoff. Mm -hmm. I work out. Like, yeah. It's not like I'm... He's pretty, I'm he's not, pretty built, I'm like... like a little twig if, if he like were to stand toast. up and flex, you'd be like, "Oh, oh wow!" Appreciate that. Yeah, too. yeah, no and problem. I just have a thing about him. Like, mm -hmm. I'll go out and like I'll ride my longboard with the cutoff on. I'll go to the park and like I'll play. Yeah, I'll do sports and stuff and cut off. But to go like walk around Walmart, mm -hmm. even, like even Walmart, yeah, like, like publicy, yeah. yeah, anything public like that. It's just, like, mm -hmm. mm, I wouldn't say I'm modest, but yeah. Just part I feel of like you're a little like, self-conscious. Oh, yeah. big time. Yeah. Big time. Like, you, you're you not in a bad sense. Like, yeah. I don't mean that in, in a bad way at all. Like, no. I appreciate that about you. Yeah. Like, I, I appreciate that you are clean and, like, well-kept. Yeah. Because there are so many people that aren't. And, like, nothing against them. But, like, it says something about you when the way you look. For sure. So, absolutely. yeah. It's the first thing people notice about yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You walk up to somebody and you're like, if you look bad, I want to be like, hey, I get it. That's your choice. Yeah, but, like, if you're, you're not public, somebody I want to talk to a ton. If like, you're in public and you're wearing, like, Cookie Monster pajama pants yeah. and a dirty fucking white tank top yeah. and your hair's a mess, mm -hmm. it's like, whoa. Yeah. Like, you couldn't try a little? Stay away from yeah. that person. It's like, yeah. At least and, shower yeah. before you get here. And then the other part, like, the same part of me is like, mm -hmm. how the fuck would you come out looking like that? Yes. You don't care what people... About I get you, that. Which fucking respect? Yeah. Because I care too much, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm getting away from it. I'm, I'm yeah. Really, you're getting better. Yeah. I think with the long hair, like that's a. I think that's a big thing you're having to let go. Yeah. So. That's kind of why I want to do it. The reason I'm wearing a hat and my hair isn't perfect right now. Yeah. Is because He's self conscious. I, I. Yeah. I'm going through this. Shit, how long have I been doing it? Oh, Back dude, so time. long. Probably for almost as long as I know. I've yeah, known at least six months, at least, well, like, maybe longer. Yeah, I think... You saw Zach with long hair, and I yeah. think that was your trigger moment. Like, you just turned instantly. Yeah. I want to have long hair. When we first met, I was doing the fade off. Mm -hmm. I had the fade off, and I yeah. fucking loved it. Yeah. I've been, I've thought about bringing it back for a long time. It was just like a, a statement. 
Yeah. Nobody else was doing it at the time. Mm-hmm. Well, people were doing it, but not here. Not in our little small town. Yeah. Not at, definitely not at work. I was the only person I saw with the fade hawk mm-hmm. for like I did it for two or three months. Yeah. And for two and a half months, I was the only person that had the yeah. fade hawk. I so it was like your uniqueness. It like, was my fucking thing. Yeah. And I cut it because somebody at work got did it. it. Nice. I was like, All yeah. Right, this is over. Yeah. It's not me anymore. I went back, yeah, I went back to my regular fade. And yeah. And I kept that. I, I, fuck, man. I, for months. Mm-hmm. And then, I would, it was probably, well, Thanksgiving of last year, I was like, I'm going to grow my hair out. Yeah. I remember that. I'm going to grow my hair out. I'm going to keep it. I'm like, <laughs> um, as, as my hair is growing out, I'm still going to get it cut. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Have some sort of hairstyle, so I have to wear a hat every day. Yeah, and it just fuck. It you you get like hard. remorse. Dude, it, it's I, a it it's a vicious certain, cycle. Yeah, yeah. It gets to a certain point. It's like I'm gonna cut it. Yeah, I can't. It's like I can't stand it. It's I in my it's in my face in or my face. It tired of wearing hats. Crazy. Yeah, like my what are these called? It's I don't know. Part, like, I call them like tassel. Like whatever. I don't know what you want to call these them. These things like very bottom neck. They're going. They're getting crazy. Yeah. It's so long, it's driving me nuts now. Yeah. And I was thinking about cutting my hair, leaving the top and cutting my hair because it's like, I don't know if, really, if it really does look like it, but to me, it looks like I'm starting to grow a mullet. Yeah. And then my hair in my back is I don't think it does, but that's, 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 that's a it you whatever. thing. Whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know that there's a way I could convince you of that, like, no. where in your head you wouldn't still be like, all right, I'm growing a mullet. Like, yeah. <laughs> But so that, yeah, for sure. Like I, I, I go back and forth all the time. I uh-huh. was, I had my, I was growing my hair out until March. Yeah, I was probably five or six months. I was growing my hair out, and I got it cut. I got it cut in end of February. No, to where not oh not, yeah not off, but I got it cut at the end of February to where I had a style. Yeah, it was still really long on top. Mm-hmm. The sides were short. And I did like the the side part, like mm-hmm. the, the high side part, and just like the flop over yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. And you got I, a I long while because of go, COVID. Yeah, I let it go like that until I think it's been probably June. A month. It's probably been about a month. I got tired of it, and after about a, two weeks, mm-hmm. I'm telling you every day, dude, I'm getting my hair cut. Yeah. And you were like, no, grow it out. Yeah, you I was, was trying. Yeah. I, I was, was trying, like, oh, man. I can't do it anymore. Oh, yeah. And then an hour later, I was like, all right, you're right. I'm growing it out. Yeah. And, and then I, he swapped back by, like, the oh, next yeah. break. Three or four times a day, yeah. I changed my mind. And that happened for two weeks, and then I got fucking cut it off. Yeah. And instantly. Remorse. I, it, so here's yeah. it. It wasn't remorse right off the bat, but yeah. instantly I knew I made a mistake. Because every single time, from the time I was a kid, I go get my hair cut, mm-hmm. and there's two emotions. I'm jacked that I got a fresh haircut and yeah. I look good, or I'm mad because my hair didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Oh, and yeah. It's, oh, it's, I remember this one. It's a okay. really high or really low. Yeah, because you this was before you went to my barber, I think. Yeah, yeah. Right. and it was, always, it was yeah. always like, I love getting my hair cut. I love getting yeah. a fresh haircut. There's very very few things in life yeah. that I found mm-hmm. that give me like the joy of a fresh hair. Oh yeah. I feel you. And then to not have that when I'm growing my hair out, yeah. I seek it. Yeah. But then on the other spectrum, it's like if I get a bad haircut. Oh well, yeah. And you're stuck with it, it for a while. It like ruins it. It's horrible. Yeah. And so the last couple of times I went to the barber I was going to. Yeah. It was just like all of a sudden he just didn't fucking care. Yeah. He wouldn't listen to me. He wouldn't do anything. So I asked you cut your hair because mm-hmm. you did a great fade, and that mm-hmm. was like my biggest problem. With yeah, you wanted a fade on the side well. and like a little trim on the top. That's yeah. all you were aiming for, I think, yeah. at the time. Fucking, I said the last time I went to my barber, I said don't touch the top, give me a fade. Yeah, cut three inches off the top of my hair. I swear, yeah, I mean, it wasn't three inches, but it went from maybe an inch to where I could. See, it was like down here, and I got out the shower, and I had to blow dry it over. Yeah, to where I couldn't see it anymore. Yeah, like he cut a lot of yeah. hair off. Yeah, at least there, an and inch. I, and I told him don't cut my top of my hair. Yeah. So I stopped going to him. And yeah. then I started going to your guy. I've only gone to him twice. Yeah. And I was at the end of last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So and like, I went through that phase and I would grow out my hair. But I got my last haircut. Yeah. I went to your barber. 
And it was a fucking good haircut. Yeah. He's good at what he does. Oh, yeah. He's really good. But I was like, here's the thing that I want. I had, at this point, I had been growing my hair out for, what did I say, five or six months? Yeah, I think so. pretty good. And I was like, I want to fade. I kind of want to get away from the comb over. Mm-hmm. Just give me one, like, give me a, like a solid length on top. Make it look good. Give yeah. me a good fade. And he was like, got you. He did exactly what I wanted to mm-hmm. do. And as soon as I saw that, the, my, the hair in the mirror, it was just like, eh. Yeah. There was no, like, there was no high. There was no low. It was right, right in between. Right in between. Like, as, as I was pulling, I was like, yeah, I fucked up. I should have just kept growing my hair out. Yeah. Should have done it. Like, that was the first time ever I would just had no like real yeah, reaction. Yeah, there was no no yeah. no sides of the spectrum. You were like sitting right in the, dead in the yeah. middle. I was like, man, I should have just kept it. Yeah. Now, I've been growing it out now. It's been like a month and a half, month, month and a half. Yeah. And it's going to go. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's so much a part of you now though. Like I. The long hair? No, the hat. Oh, yeah. Like the hat it's because of the long hair. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I just, like I haven't seen you without a hat and like. Yeah. A solid two to three months at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I after my last haircut, I styled my hair for like two weeks, mm-hmm. and then at like the two or three week point is when I'm like, all right, it's kind of getting yeah. out of hand. The style I go for just, especially at work, it just falls. Yeah, all the time. Like, lots of fans. Yeah, like, so I just throw a hat on. Yeah, and that's the hat's kind of become me. Yeah, and but yeah, this time for sure, I've already I'm already decided. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm growing it out. I'm growing it out to the length I want it. To grow out. Try it on for a little bit. See how it looks. Yeah. I've always wanted to know what I look like yeah. with long hair. And if if ever anything else it fails, back. like you can always chop it back down. Cut it off. Yeah. If I look stupid with long hair, I look stupid with uh-huh. long hair. I'll tell you. I'll be the first one. For I'll sure. be like, dude, you look dumb. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you need to go ahead and cut that off. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I'll do it <laughs> yeah. myself at that point. What? There's no way to know until you try. Yeah. And yeah. I got to actually stick with it. And you, you had a point, though. That's like, me growing my hair out, the struggle with it was mm-hmm. a, a like self image issue. Yeah. So that's also a plus. Yeah. Like, if I push through that, then I yeah. kind of crush that self image yeah. problem. And you're like and pushing yourself forward. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So. Always get to it. All right, man. Pretty show me what this thing is. Should I wait? I close my eyes nah, you're good. Cause out? it's in a nice big white box. It does say what is what it is on the front. Uh-huh. So you can you can open your eyes. Wait, hold on. I wanna. Uh, no, I don't want to see it until they see it. Oh, you don't want to see it until they see it? Okay. I see it. If you guys uh, uh we are all right, guys. Out a video. Hold on. Yeah, we will put out a video of, a video this. of this. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. I know. If you're listening to this just audio, I'm not. I'm. Cl- I have my hands over my yeah. eyes. Yeah. I'm waiting for John to pull it out so I can see what he's doing. If you want to see the uh, the not what the what the, the, the object things, our objects that's yeah. what I was going for. Hit us if up you on YouTube and check out our YouTube channel. Yeah. All right. Link in the description. Open those bad peepers up. All right. What you got? This. What the fuck is that? This is what's called a storm glass. Does that predict the weather? In part, yeah. So back in the 1700s, Europeans. 1700s. Yeah. I'm gonna put that there. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So back in the 1700s, uh, it was big in Europe. Like. A lot of people on ships used this item to help predict the weather in in the future. So like in, in the future? S- or for like the next day okay. kind okay. of thing. Yeah. So like the the liquid in there is a combo of like chemicals. I don't know the chemicals exactly. I have a booklet I could tell you if I really wanted to. Okay. But there's also like this crystallized something in there that like as the weather warms or freezes or whatever it's going to do for the next day the crystals will react with the chemical inside and so like the the crystals will like grow or like shrink if it's going to be cold the more crystals no they like they sink down oh really yeah so it's the opposite of what yeah so like as it gets warm they like they start to grow if it's going to be a super sunny day you're going to have like a big like all the liquid will be full of that crystal stuff because it's not like a ice crystals kind of thing uh, i guess see, that's what yeah I was, I was thinking like the way your windshield blows yeah up. that's what i was thinking yeah no i think it's i think it's because like as the liquid gets warmer yeah. 
it like gets kind of thinner and the atoms kind of split apart a little more uh-huh. and it allows for like the thicker oh. stuff to like rise so, like, i think i'm not gonna say that's up, perfect the atoms yeah move they move so it's growing. yeah okay Look, so like science yeah I don't, I'm, not I, I'm not saying that's perfect i don't know the exacties i just know what they sent me when i got it but yeah so like this was big in the 1700s a lot of people who like captains of ships use this in order to see or p- kind of try and predict the the future weather. So I, the question that usually comes when I show people this is, does it work? Yeah, does it? Have you I don't it? know. <laughs> like, I can't tell. <laughs> the dang crystals always sit like that. I think I've seen them, but I also keep it inside. So Are like, you supposed to keep it in the element? I think so. I feel like that would be the freaking winners we get around. I don't yeah. Know. Like that's what I'm saying. It's like I, I one time, but the winners we have, that shit would shatter. Outside yeah. In the, in the so like I don't, I don't know if it works, because I never take it outside. Like it because it's glass. I'm afraid it's gonna break outside. Yeah. Same. So I, I can't tell you if it actually works or not. But like this was something I just I randomly saw on Amazon one day. Dude, if anything, it's fucking. It looks. Yeah. Badass. It looks cool. A, like that's part thing. of why I got it. I love doodads, man. <laughs> That's my thing. Like, I love little little things, like yeah. boxes, sure. everything. Sure. But, yeah, this was, like, this is one of the things that I bought a while ago. And, like, it always fascinates me. And it makes me unhappy that it's not, like, actively it's working. Work. Nah, dude, that thing's sick. Yeah. Like so. If it works or not. Yeah. That's just a badass thing to have, like, on. Right? Selling, like, a man. It always looks cool. For sure. Yeah. It looks dope. So, that, that's my big hidden item right there. Heck, yeah. That's my, that's my storm glass. It definitely lives up to the hype. For yeah. Sure. I think it's sick. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to have to actually, like, test it, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, I, I, I need to take it out somewhere, but I need to take it somewhere that's, like, safe yeah. kind of thing. Like, that's my struggle. If I still lived in California, it would be perfect. I'd yeah. Be like, for sure, bro. So, yeah, yeah sure. that's, that's my big that's my big thing right there. Heck, yeah, man. Yeah. Is that everything you expected and more? Everything it's not you wanted? what I expected at all. Really? But it definitely. What were you thinking it was? I had no clue. Really? I didn't like it, it's. If you could see the stand, there's that little. Yeah, that little divot. divot. Yeah. And I was like, okay, he's got this. You ever seen those globes? Mm-hmm. That like you hold it, mm-hmm. and or you could like spin it or roll it, and it stays. So oh, it's like a ball okay. Of a ball, but yeah. Then, like, yeah. I thought it might be something like that, or like one of those like floating things. Mm-hmm. I can see you being into something like that. One of those floaty things. Yeah, like it was like the magnetic things. And it oh, like, like okay. It yeah. Then, like, oh no, I get you. Up. It'd still be sick. Yeah. But no, yeah, I, I don't have one of those, unfortunately. Fucking sick. Though. Yeah. So this is yeah. All right, man. I think that went well. Like yeah. I, I think it. I think it was what it what it was supposed to do. Yeah. It did what it was supposed to. Absolutely. So. It hit. Yeah, just for you guys. We have not seen these items prior to these, like, these these are really, like, we did hide them from each other before coming in here, so. When you guys saw them or heard what they were, it was the first time we were seeing them, too. Yeah. For sure. So. All right, fellas. Well. I probably shouldn't say fellas. (laughs) Folks at home. All right, y'all. We got to, we're probably going to wrap this one up. Yeah. So. Uh, As our buddy Franz would say. Peace, love, no violence. violence.